what's going on today. Um, I wanted to show everyone a free add-on that you can get for SketchUp, and um, a lot of you probably know about this already. Um, but I do think that it's extremely helpful when you want to do landscapes in Lumion because um, if you are using SketchUp, um, landscaping or like getting like kind of like sculpted landscapes can be very difficult, I find, um, since uh, I feel like SketchUp kind of starts to struggle with uh, things like triangles. Uh, when you start to get up to like really big scenes uh, more so than things like 3ds max and blender um, But I find that this actually kind of helps you get around that um, when you are doing uh, landscaping That isn't just necessarily like the smooth tool because I find that's always extremely slow kind of like no matter how good your computer gets um, So what I want to do is just kind of make like a little slope around this uh, Around this little house here and we're just gonna play around with uh, some of the settings, but the first things uh, I want to go through are just kind of some of the, the features of soap skin and bubble. So basically the idea is this, is that if you have like this circle, I'll just increase the segments a little bit. I uh, will put up like 50. So I'll delete the center. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all these faces and I'm going to hit skin. Hmm. Never gotten that before. Um, so yeah, I'm not really sure if that's like a warning saying it's, not going to work after April or something like that. Uh, we'll see if that happens again. I didn't get that when I was just in a, not that long ago. So, um, yeah, but basically what we've done is we have made a, uh, we've made mesh inside of this circle. Um, but we can do sp uh, certain things with it. Uh, something you will notice too, though, is after I do this, my, it always gets locked out for some reason. So I hit this X, Y button. Um, and then it always just says like, you have to select a group. But then it, it so basically gives an error and it kind of resets it. Um, that's kind of how I've always done it. Um, now, the thing about this as well is that the it's back faced or it's facing the wrong way. So we're just going to reverse the faces here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click on it. We're going to go up to generate soap bubble. And then we're going to hit pressure five. And as you can see, when you do that, it kind of like curves the mesh. And so it smooths it all out. Um, and then you can even come back up here, type 10 again. You can see it keeps going. And if you type negative five, it goes in. If we had left the, the faces, um, like the white face is pointing down, the front face, um, if you hit five, it will start going down. If you hit negative five, it goes up just because they're inverted like that. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of the basics of what it does. But I'm just going to show you how you can kind of apply that uh, to a landscape. Um, and I just think it's a really cool tool for making kind of like difficult landscapes, I guess. So first things first, I'm going to take this and I'm just going to draw kind of like a quick outline around this. And then I'm going to decide kind of where my, how my landscape's going to be shaped. So I think I'm going to make it come up like this. Um, yeah, so something like, uh, yeah, something like that. So then I'll do this. Um, this will come out and then up. And I want it to come to about here. So then I'll go like this. I find it's a lot easier when you kind of draw over and up just because curves can be really like weird to kind of visualize inside of SketchUp. Um, so yeah, that's just something that you should uh, keep in mind. And so then this one, maybe I want it, oops, I want this to go to here, but then I only want it to go up to like here. Yeah, and then we'll have this come here and we'll go like that, delete these, and then I'll go like that. Um, so I find it works best when you kind of cut it into like quadrants like this. Um, and you'll kind of see why in a minute. So what you do is you just select, we need to make a loop. Um, this part can be really annoying. I think there are some tools in SketchUp that can help you just kind of select loops. Um, if you guys know of any, please leave a comment below because I have been kind of looking at some, but I haven't really found any that kind of work in the way that I want it to. Um, but what we're going to do is we're not going to hit skin. And now you can see in the bottom right, there is something called division. So I think it always defaults to 10. So depending on kind of how big or small your scene is, um, or the area rather, then you're going to see kind of like a different number or like different size face pop up here. For this one, let's try 50. And so that's, you know, that is a fair bit, but I think for the purpose of this, it's fine. So we'll hit uh, OK. And then, like I said, it's going to lock you out for some reason. So you just hit X, Y. You'll see this pop up. And now you're free to select it. Uh, and then we're going to do that. Oh, I think I need to draw a line here. Uh, and then we're going to keep going around here. So click here. And then I will hit skin. We're going to do 
I do 50 last time? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I, I try and make the squares roughly the same size. I don't think it actually matters. I just find it looks weird. Uh, so for this one, we're going to come in, just keep clicking a bunch of times. Um, and you will kind of get this hard line. There are some things you can do to kind of like get rid of it. Um, I never really worried too much about that. Um, yeah, you can just kind of mask it out. Or uh, what you could even do is, I guess, just for the purpose of showing this, um, you could really just go like this. Uh, I do want to keep it. Um, how do I want to do this? So I guess we could just leave this in. Like I was going to say, you could just combine these two. It doesn't really matter. Um, it, it all just kind of depends on what you want to get. Like if I, I guess I should just show this. It's uh, I'm kind of just um, improvising a little bit here, but I do really want to just kind of show this off because it is it is cool just to be able to have like this much control over it. So if we now hit, uh, I think I might have messed up the loop when I did this. So click here. All right, so it worked that time. So yeah, you have to have every single one, like it has to be a completely closed loop or it's not gonna work. I wish there was some indicator saying like where it's failing, um, but I guess that's kind of wishful thinking. Um, what is frustrating about using this add-on is sometimes you'll be like doing a big loop and then you'll realize that you like miss like a little corner. Um, so if you are gonna use this add-on, I really do recommend that you like kind of use your own models um, because the 3D warehouse, you don't know where someone might've like missed an edge or something like that. And you could spend a lot of time trying to fix it. So for this one, let's go 50, let enter again. And then as you can see, when you do this, it kind of fixes that like that line there. I'm not gonna worry about like worry about it for this part, but you can just kind of get creative and like play around with that. And then what you can also do is like, if you just want it to be up a little bit, you just say like, you know, pressure, maybe just go like five. And then that way it kind of like smooths it out a bit more. Um, but you do, you might get like kind of like a weird like dip around these areas, but that's not really a big deal. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click back in here and I'm not seeing it turn blue at all. So I'm just going to draw another one. Uh, I guess I have to just draw a couple quick lines around here. And I'll go there. I'll go over there. Just retrace all the lines. I think that should be good. I'm also going to delete. Um, and then, yeah, that should be fine. So I will go and click around this. Uh, let's see if this works. Okay, so it did 50. And as you can see, it's gonna kind of like link all that up and you can fix the seams. I think that that's like pretty reasonable. I am just gonna raise this up a little bit more. Um, pressure, just do five maybe. And yeah, what's kind of cool about this is that it goes like around the house sort of. So yeah, there's definitely some uh, some flaws with it, but overall it works pretty well. Um, so what I'm going to do then is I'm just going to throw a dirt texture on here. Um, where? Landscaping. Okay, so that's good there. Um, and as you can see, you're going to get like little areas like that. Um, something I want to do is I want to draw, I'm just going to make a little circle like this. And then I'm going to drag this up and go right here. So then what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to grab this and I'm going to uh, drape it on. Hop in here. We're just going to delete this out. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select all this here. And yeah, sorry for the, this is kind of what I mean about like, I don't know if there's a better way of just selecting the lines like this in uh, SketchUp. Uh, you know, in Blender, you can just hold Alt and it like selects the whole loop like that. But um, hopefully you don't miss anything here. Cause this is kind of what I was saying about like, not only can you, like it does, they're not really a great tool, but like if you mess up, it'll like, you have to start over. So let's just see if this worked. No, okay. And that's kind of what I mean. 
All right, yeah, so I was able to kind of get to the bottom of why it wasn't working. So I found out what the best way of kind of doing it is um, just highlighting it all here and then something like that. And so I kind of found out where the trouble area was. So if I zoom in here, you can kind of see that uh, it's coming up here. So we don't want this here, like this face, and then this line was what was messing it up. So you do kind of have to be cautious about um, kind of how like, like all those loose edges there if you're highlighting like that. Now I think that if I come out and do this now, yeah, so now it'll work. So we'll do 10 and I'll hit XY and click this bubble 10. Oh, oops. See, yeah, so we went the wrong way there because it's uh, it's pointing the wrong direction. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come in here. I'm going to flip them and then I will bubble it and let's do something crazy like 50. So yeah, as you can see, it kind of pops up like that. Uh, and then what you can do is just throw a dirt texture on there. We can delete this. Uh, I'm going to throw a little door on there from Valley Architects just to kind of give it a better look. Uh, we'll do this one. And I don't think I have any width. Yeah, I have no width to these walls, so we'll just toss it here. Good enough. All right. And, um, yeah, I guess there's... Maybe I'll just do this just so the dirt's only on the outside. Um, I'll pop in here, just do it like that. All right, and then yeah, so you can just come in and uh, drop that here. Now, yeah, you can fix these areas as I mentioned, but let's bring this into Lumion, kind of see how that looks. Uh, I will just throw some siding on here just to make it look okay. Uh, roofing and yeah so that's good enough uh, I will save this uh, I'll just save it on my desktop for now okay and uh, Lumion's already open so I will just live sync it in and then uh, I am going to do one last thing uh, in um, in Lumion. So I'm going to throw on 3D grass, obviously. Uh, I'm going to put some dirt just like that. So then as you can see, you have like a little flower patch. Uh, I'm going to throw some kind of generic stuff on here. Uh, whatever, glass advanced, good enough. Uh, siding. Uh, I guess we'll just do bricks. And then I'll throw on like roof. Yeah, good enough. Uh, and then this, I guess I'll just make white just so it looks a little bit better. Okay, so that's that's fine. This, um, I guess that there's some grass poking through here, but that's not a big deal. Um, now, the only thing I want to do to finish, uh, finish this off is I want to make it so that this is kind of like, um, how I say it? there's like a dirt path and then it kind of eases into the grass. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come underneath this uh, I'm going to, uh, maybe I'll just make this a group for now, just so that it's easier to work around. Uh, I'm going to, what's the best way of doing this? I think if I go in the middle here and come down slightly, something like that, and then I go like this, and I go like that. And then I'm just going to finish these loops off. Um, and what this is going to do is it's going to make it so we can kind of like slant it. Um, the dirt's kind of like, it's easing out. I'll just show you in a second how it kind of works. So I'll throw this on and then I'll just, uh, I guess I'll just finish the loop because that's easiest. So go like that. I'll just pop up here, drop the grass in, and then I'll save it. And then, yeah, so you kind of get this effect. Um, and what's kind of nice when you do it like this is if you pop back in a SketchUp, if you click this thing here, hit M up on the arrow pad and then just move it closer like that, then you can get more of an effect like this. Um, and you just kind of control it through that. And if you want to come in here and like change the grass, obviously you can like the gravity force, that kind of stuff. So these are all the same textures. So it should, um, should be affecting this. Um, but yeah, so maybe I will just drag that down a little bit more because that is kind of strong. Something like that. 
And uh, yeah, so I think that looks pretty good. Um, you can make it so that these aren't like the edges aren't as harsh, but I think that that looks, you know, pretty good just for like a quick little thing like that. Um, I guess that there is actually one last thing I want to show. So if we just take a bunch of trees here, uh, I think this worked when I did it. So if you just go like this, uh, we'll drag them up. And then you go over to here and you say snap to conform to landscape. And then as you can see, the trees now just sit right on the, uh, like right on the landscape. And so if you are doing this in uh, Lumion, you can make, you know, fairly complex landscapes inside of SketchUp and it doesn't take you a lot of time uh, and it does work pretty well. Um, and then, yeah, it, it's also really nice for making flower beds because you just basically drape the area that you want. Uh, you basically make it stand out and then you have just a mound of, uh, of dirt that actually conforms to the landscape, which uh, is probably one of the best, um, yeah, it's just probably one of the best tools uh, for using in Lumion. Like, I really don't even think it'd be like, like landscaping like this would be possible without it because like, I don't know, like the smooth tool kind of works, but I find it's like it, to use a grid that's a decent size, it actually starts to really like clamp down on your file. Um, and so I find it's just way easier to use this. So I guess we'll just throw that in. And uh, yeah, so that's the whole tutorial. Uh, I hope that um, you guys found this uh, helpful. Um, if you think that this is a pretty cool add-on, I'd love to hear your comments on it below. Uh, if it helped you, I'd also really appreciate it if you could uh, like this video and maybe even subscribe to the channel. Uh, it really keeps me motivated um, to see that uh, you know people are subscribing and they want um, to get more content from me. Um, and so yeah, it just kind of keeps me you know on the hunt to find more interesting stuff and just to kind of talk about my workflow. So um, I just want to thank everyone uh, for supporting the channel. Uh, it's been a ton of fun lately. And uh, I will see you all in the next one. Have a good night.